Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in this episode I was looking at building the tier 3 rocket. So let's have a look at what we've got to do for that. It's, there's a lot. There's a really a lot of stuff we have to make. Now one of the first, let's have a look at the rocket tier 3 as well. It's got to be menu here. I was looking at this one. Basically we have to make a titanium machine hull. Now that basically returns requires the two titanium plates, no big deal, and another star. Big deal. <laughs> but we can grind the wither. So what I've been doing is we need to get some witherproof blo blocks. Let's have a look at those as well. So this is going to be the witherproof block that we've got. I think it's the only one we've got. So we should be able to mine camp, uh, craft this. No problem at all. Now we need 65. And I'll go and tell you why. I'll show, in fact, I'll show you why. So let's get these set up first of all. So um, first of all, we need this one here let's have a look for the recipe for that and we'll put that down there so that'll make we need this of course crafting so we need 16 of those no big deal i'm also going to need another interface which i've got plenty of that's no big deal and we need to make this one which we should actually be able to do oh i haven't got any yes i haven't got any bars let's get the bars back here we need 16 to start with let's try that again so now we can do that, so we can get our second recipe out of here. So with these, with these two recipes, no big deal, we should be able to do it. So let's uh, put some stuff into here because I went to Mars earlier on. To basically put down another quarry. <laughs> let's see about that. Now if I put that one there, can I interface with it? I'm not sure I can, but I'll try it anyway. Right, uh, oh yes, I wanted cable to know. In fact, let's just see if we can actually do that with it connected as it is. I don't think it'll work. It might do. So, with a. Oh, we can craft them, fantastic. So, let's put these blocks away here and see what we actually need to craft 65 of these. So, we're missing 228 dark steel ingots. Now uh, here's I'll show you how we're gonna figure this out. I've got not much too much I've not got too much on me at the moment, right? But I've got my RR picking so. So let's go over here outside. Because I built a mock uh with a chamber here. Basically it needs to be this size and inside here we should have the space for the wither. So if I knock this down, for example, here's a good place. Oh, wrong tool. And I need to be in five by five as well. So that's the shape of the wither. And what we have in here is 64 plus 1. And that was the outside, the, the ore. So that was the head and this was the body. So we need 65 of these things. So I need to make a lot more dark steel. So let's go and do that. It's not, it is easy. It's not too difficult to automate, but I haven't automated the fluids yet because they are a bit of a, well, bit of a pain. So what do we need for dark steel? I think is, I want to get rid of these two. Let me just double check the recipe for dark steel because I've forgotten. Uh, we can look from here, can't we? So we can't do induction smelters. We can't do alloy smelters. We can't. Well, we could do the casting table. We, we want to do this one here: liquid dark steel or molten dark steel. I think it's the molten dark steel that's the one we can't do because we need to do the one through mine chem. Ah, oh, yeah, we can liquid steel and molten obsidian molten obsidian is no big deal liquid steel is more of a pain actually so we need lots of steel so that was how many was that i didn't notice again let me just have a look at that again so we want uh, molten liquid steel didn't we now which one is it liquid st that's steel stainless steel liquid steel is the one we want i don't want that i want the <laughs> i don't want the container i want the bucket worth of it if we've got the bucket is there a bucket in here that's rocket fuel oh 
Okay, let's do it through this way again. So that's the one we can't liquid dark steel. That's the one we think we can do. So it's 48. We don't care about that so much. We've got plenty of obsidian. We'll give us 36 dark steel. And I think that's three ingots, isn't it? So it's four ingots of liquid steel. We'll give us... Well, I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, let's go and make some. We need lots. So it's basically refined iron ingots. How many do we need? Well, let's craft um, 200. It's 280. Yeah, 200. Let's craft 200. I'm not sure exactly how many. Well, probably we'll need more than that, won't we? Let's craft 320. Yep, yeah, we can do that. So those will come in slowly. Well, actually, while those are coming in, let's put these away. It, what I did on the um, on Mars was to put under another quarry down, just a small one, to get the dash, because this is going to take a very long time to get dash from the two quarries, which are both 256 by 256, which is a pretty big number. Let's have a look. Um, I've just got a calculator. That's wrong. So it's 65,000 per row. And we've got to go down about, well, I think we're at about level 60, aren't we? We've got to go down at least 30 rows. Which means 200,000 blocks before we get there. So, what's happening here? 196, good. In fact, let's get these out of here. Oops, didn't want those. And let's also get out of here some obsidian. In fact, I'll take the same number of obsidian as we're getting in through coming through the other one, which should be five stacks, I think. I probably don't need so much obsidian. So let's have a look at steel, refined iron. Yeah, that'll be our five stacks. And that may be enough. So I'm going very fast walking into everything. So we need to basically spell these down here. So this is the, is that an import bus? That's an import bus. That's to import stuff into it, isn't it? Okay, well, let's just put these in here. And those are going to come into the system as liquid steel. In fact, can I automate this any better? No, there's stuff at the back. Actually, I could take one off the front here, couldn't I? Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, all right, I just picked up the gravel. I can get rid of the gravel easily enough. Oh, and I picked up the chest as well. I picked up the chest as well. Actually, that's not so bad. At least I didn't pick up any machines. Which would have been bad. So what have we got? Ten of these. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I could put one underneath a block that I didn't, couldn't book before. So I basically had a chest down here, didn't I? Like that. And I was feeding stuff straight out of here. And what I really wanted to do was to put a an interface on here to put items into it. Uh, I must have done something else too. What else did I do? Did I break the power cable? Oh, that actually looks like it's full. Why is that full? That's gone off. Ah, oh, did I pick up a lever? Do you know, I don't see why that's gone off. Because that should be on. I should have a lever actually, what did I think about it? Where's the lever gone to? 
because I broke a lever on here, didn't I? Oh dear, what have I done? Nothing in there. Well, that's strange. Must have put it in the chest. I've got eight levers in there, so let's put them back over here. I think for that to come out of there, it needs this enabling. So let's just enable this first of all. I must have picked it up. Um, yeah. So that'll now carry on with that one. And it's got no power. I'm. Of course, I had the lever. I had a lever on the front of it, didn't I? Because I was basically disabled that. Okay, good. That was confusing. Right, so now what I want to do is to put an ME interface on the front of this, don't I, to put in these items. Let's go and get that. Which is what I was trying to do in the first place. So I need an export bus. And that'll do. And just some cables we've got here. That's no problem. Good. Because at one stage I was trying to save power here, but thinking about it, it, was a, it wasn't a sensible idea. So if we put the cable down here, and on here like this, we can then put the export bus into here. And there's no point, I can't see any point in doing anything else in this. So we could put in the obsidian into there now. And that's going to start to come through, that's good. So in here, we need to change this one. And remove these items and go and get what we need. So we need dark steel. So let's go and get that stuff. So that's liquid obsidian and again I can't walk. Um, what have I got for fluid patterns? Have I got any liquid obsidian in here? Molten dark steel. Molten lead. Yes, molten obsidian, fantastic. And it was molten steel. Which I think is that one. Let's just double check what we've got in the system now. Of course, water keeps flashing in and out. Because I'm running, I'm using all the water up straight away. But I, hold on, that's really irritating. There's obsidian, tin. I'm looking for steel. Let me just go and fix that. The easiest way to fix it is to turn off the, the one that's making the cobblestone. Yeah, let's just disable this for a second. Right, that'll slowly fill up, not do anything good. But what I'm going to get is we'll quickly get a block of mint as well, because I'm one block of mint short. So now, we want steel. Molten tin. What does steel look like? Molten silver. That's actually slightly strange. Ah, liquid steel. Oh, we don't have a, a pattern for liquid steel, do we? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. This one's got molten obsidian, it's got molten steel. Okay, we want liquid steel. Let's put that into there and then we get liquid steel. Good. Right, that solves that problem. Now, we will have a capacity card on us, I think. So, I haven't bothered checking, but it's no big deal. Um, oh. I want steel. <laughs> yes, I want steel ingots in here, don't I? Capacity card. And now we want steel ingots in here too. Let's have a look what's going on in here. So that'll probably be pulling in all the obsidian. I don't want to do that all of good time, of course. Um, but I want to get rid of the fluids out of here, and I can't do so easily. Let's have a look. So we want these two in here. In fact, that's no big deal. I can do that, can't I? Yes. Molten dark steel. It's filled up. Okay. That's not too bad. So what I'm going to do now is turn off this one. Yeah. And then we can control it that way, I think. That's probably about, I can't think of a better way of controlling it. I suppose I could put it using ME interface, but memory interface to um that doesn't work so well. 
So have I run out of fluids in here? We've got a capacity of 20, so that's 9 plus 6. That's not, uh, no it shouldn't be full. What's going on in here? That one's full. And the other ones are full of types. Oh, okay, so we are full. But what we can do, of course, is to remove this from here. Let's do that. Or anything that's a small quantity, and then the molten steel will be able to come into there. Or maybe I have another idea. We want this dark steel, don't we? Oh, I think I've got a pattern for dark steel. Let me just double check it. It's because we've got plenty of these. We can drain stuff off with this. Let's take these with us. Hmm. That's two and a half buckets. That's less than that. And that's liquid steel. 3,000. 49 buckets of obsidian. That's probably too much. Okay, I think the problem is they're running out of capacity on some of these things. So let's select the resident ender and put this into here. And that should allow the molten steel to come into into the system here. It should have enough capacity now. Hmm. I think we've got molten uh, I think we've got dark steel in here. Let's have a look. Yes, we've got one dark steel. So what we can now do, of course, we've got the dark steel being produced. If I haven't got it in here, I could put it in here, no problem. I've got rubber in there. I want to let's put dark steel in there. Molten dark steel. I wonder if this. Oh, I've got rubber in here as well. Liquid rubber. Let's take that out. I've got uh, still some more of these. I'm going to be full up of stuff, but... I want that in there as well, of course. So what I don't know is going to happen is whether the molten steel... The, the dark... The dark... Sorry. The dark steel will come into that. So it should be coming out of here. Hmm. And it's not. So let's take it out of here. And let's put it into here. I just don't. Oops, it always goes to the wrong place, doesn't it? Forget. But that's going to be a bit of a faff if I've got to keep doing this 256 buckets worth. And I'm sure this thing automates. Let me just see if I can go down a bit and see if it's actually working. Well. That's a fluid import bus, all right. Let me try another one of those. So we've got, and I think we've got one or two spares. Fluid import buses. That one. I need that with me. I probably don't or need all of these rubbers. Resident Ender. I'll find a different place to put that. But that's strange. We've got Resident Ender in here. Oh, an empty one. Okay, I've seen that before. That's because it was empty when I put one in. And the only way you can get rid of that is actually put another one back in it. So, let's go and stand on here. Let's see if we can get rid of this fluid by putting one of these onto that like that. Nope, it's still stuck in here. Hmm. Another idea. I'm sure this should work. Because it did was working once and it and it stopped working, but maybe it's because all of these are full. I 
and the water's coming in at a fairly fast rate. Mm, that's a bit of a problem actually. So, what I was going to do, put a servo and some fluid pipes on here, fluid ducts, and a servo. Resonance server, that may or may not bring the stuff across. Something I haven't tried yet actually. That's not pushing anything into there either, so let's just remove this one. Let's see if we can actually use these hardened fluid pipes for do doing that. That was interesting, look at that. And put the servo onto this. Here. And activate it. Actually, that's the wrong one, never mind. But it's doing something with it. So it did seem to work. In fact, the one I wanted to go to is this one, which was rather smart. So let's just disconnect this one. And then connect it into here. And again, we'll just disconnect this. Look, it should connect to A stuff, that's interesting. Now, let's have a look at this. Good. It's gone, we've got molten obsidian in the system. Good. So let's put some more steel in there. And let's have a look at what's going on in here. Indeed, it's working. Fantastic. I thought that would work anyway, but why the AE2 stuff's not pulling it out of these machines, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's not. So then the, I'm a bit sort of stuck there, aren't I? I need to... What have I got on this one? That's an import bus. That was importing fluids. Yes, I need that on there to do that. Hmm, okay. This is going to take a while. Because I would like to get the chest... Oh, I know what to do. We can put a pipe, or we can put um, an item duct down here, can't we? Oh, and an NDIO conduit. Now we could take this one off here, we don't need that on that one, so just try again. I should be able to clip. Alright, let's try that with the wrench. What am I just doing? <laughs> Power. That's not right at all. Tell you what, I have got an ender, a Yetta wrench. Let's actually use that, because that's the best thing for ender, any ender I have to use the Yetta wrench. Because you can't shift left click with the, the crescent hammer to actually connect the stuff up. So what I want to do is shift left click on this one here. So, a tile machine name, brilliant. Tile machine name, South. Um, good question. <laughs> I think we need... Let's shift left click that again. And once, presumably I want the South one. I think that's mode disabled. We want this one. Here we want this one enabled. Yeah, that's fine. And we want to basically pull stuff out of here. Good, yes. And we want to put it into a chest. So all I need to do is put a chest down here. If I can get it. If I put it down at the back, I might not be able to reach that because it's to be blocked. So let's bring it one block forward. And then we just use one extra cable. Ah, uh, connector. Conduit. Oh dear. Didn't do want to do that. I wanted the conduit. I ain't doing so well. Right, try again. Right, good. So this time it's pulling out of there, that's fine. And actually it's pushing, we want this to be pushing into here. So I should be able to connect that and do that as an insert. Good. Then everything should be able to come into here. From here. So that should work up as well. I'm just going to have to knock another block of flooring away. So I can see better. That's not enabled, so we need to make that always active. So therefore, anything in here, yep, that's coming, and it's working great, fantastic. 
let's just turn this around right good now let's just get my which I haven't got with me let's select this again so let's make sure we've got some more steel coming in here because we need quite a lot of dark steel ingots like right, one stack and a half now or nearly that's good yes that's working just fine good so that was five stacks we'll see how many we get from the five stacks of this it's obviously empty on this side of things here but uh, in here is full 6,000 we're going to have a check what we've got in here now it's 100 I think it's probably 144 6,000 divided by 144 molten obsidian I don't see oh yeah that's liquid steel keeps coming in here maybe we don't get enough actually just to make sure let's craft some more refined iron I'm going to craft again 320 because we have plenty of iron we have plenty of copper so it's no big deal but we need a lot of dark steel for this particular operation in here we just got just about two stacks now and it's still coming in that's good and I've got some more here too dark steel oh, I know what I can do let's put this dark steel into here as an output and it just goes straight out through the system like that fantastic that one was empty this one's actually empty what you can do with this is you can do it put it in here like this you have to empty it out I have to use resident so if I put some now I wonder if I can do it in a hopper is that fill it up there then it's empty then you can put it into here like this and that fills it up here yeah? and then this is actually empty so it can actually stack and this one's actually got stuff in it and this one is also empty let's try that oh that was the wrong one that's the reason why oh uh, whoops that was rubber but this has got no resident and let's try this again let's put that into there and that goes empty so that will be stackable and then we've got this one with no resident ender in it which now got 500 so that should makes more sense doesn't it so that's actually another way of doing that so how are we doing in here that's empty that's empty and this is empty and we've got two and a half stacks nowhere near enough is it from our three stacks, is it two and a half, exactly two and a half stacks? It's not anymore actually. From our five stacks, hmm, it's a strange amount. So let's put this back now and let's get the refined iron out. Yeah, was it? I've got the wrong sort of drawing this really. And let's have a look if we can make those witherproof blocks again. How many we're actually short of? Sixty-five. Forty-eight. Actually, not too bad. So we could easily do that, and we should be able to complete that. I might not be able to do it this episode, but we can certainly do it. I think we will actually do set this going again. That makes me feel a bit happier because I was really uncertain about this, exactly what was going on. And I'd also like to put the floor back. Let's go and do that as well. In fact, the easiest thing to do is to come in here and get my. Where's it gone to? Build Super Builders Wand. Bit full of inventory stuff, aren't I? Let's just uh, get rid of something. Let's put this card up there. Is that the only one? Yeah. So now we've got another 15. And it's not quite finished yet. 
Well, that's how many do we actually get from one stack? So that's empty. Can't be right. Oh, I've run out of obsidian now. Well, they are them. We'll take two stacks of obsidian, and then we can be sure that we've got enough. Well, you would, believe, would you believe it? Can't shift click it into the. You can. It's really funny that you can shift get shot. You can't shift click from your hotbar, but you can from your inventory. That's good. Is your liquid still oh, it's starting to go down now? So exactly. Molten obsidian is coming in here, of course. Yes. Thirty-six. So we get thirty-six from one stack of that. So that's okay. We shall wait for this to finish, and then we'll put in some more of that. Thirty-six. Actually, shouldn't be too long. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. You know what I'm doing. Next time we're going to build the wither. It's a grinding chamber. So until then, bye for now.